Hello everyone, welcome back to Watch Me Cook. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button down below. Now let's get started. Today we are making Greek marinated chicken. Now by far, this is probably one of the most easiest dinners I have ever made. I mean, seriously, so simple. You're going to be surprised yourself. Now, because I'm lazy, I just don't want to do that extra dish. That's basically what it is for me. Instead of a bowl, I went ahead and placed my chicken inside of a gallon size Ziploc bag. And all you need to do is add one cup of plain yogurt. Some have used Greek, both work. I just use a plain cup of yogurt. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Four cloves of garlic that's minced. Now, if it's too garlicky for you, you don't have to use the four. You can use two instead. Half a tablespoon of dried oregano. One medium lemon is what they said, but really you just need half of that lemon and just juice it right into the bag. Half a teaspoon of salt, some freshly cracked pepper, a quarter bunch of fresh parsley. For me, that was just like a handful. Just roughly chop that up. All of this with about three and a half to four pounds of chicken pieces. I use three large chicken breasts, but you can use whatever cut you prefer. If you like thighs or drumsticks, that's totally fine. Um, the only difference will be the cooking time. Okay, so here's what not to do. If you see, we are ready to start marinating our chicken. We have all of our ingredients inside of our bag. We're gonna seal this right up and we're gonna massage it into the chicken. But you notice I didn't take the air out of it. So it's really hard to get in there. So make sure you take the air out of it. And the way that I do it is I simply just fold the bag over and then I'll seal it tightly and get out as much air as I possibly can. And you'll see the difference when I'm trying to manipulate everything inside of there that it's easier, much, much easier to massage it into the chicken. This is one of those dinners that you can prep ahead of time. If you need to, go ahead and make it the night before so that it's ready the next day whenever you are. I did mine earlier in the morning, so mine sat in the refrigerator for about a good eight hours. The great thing about this meal is that you get a few cooking options. I chose to make mine on the stovetop in a grill pan. You can do this outside on the grill or you can bake it right in your oven. Just uh, preheat your oven to 375 before you start. Place it all inside of a large casserole dish and bake it for about 45 to 60 minutes. Since my chicken breasts were so large, I ended up cooking mine for about 12 minutes on each side. And that was dinner. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? I plated my dinner with some couscous, but you can serve rice, quinoa, pita bread, salad, whatever your preference is. It's all going to turn out amazing. If you like this recipe, please like and subscribe. I'll leave the recipe link in the description box below. Until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.